Automated market makers coming to XRPL? Is this the news we need for XRP to see its next boom? And I've got several scam schemes hacks that I have to share with you. One of them happened to the same protocol multiple times in recent history. And we got a problem with the FTX case, exposing an issue with decentralization that threatens to ruin all of crypto. Also, XRP price action at the end. And puppies, they're all over the place. Come here, Vader. Hi, bud, come on up. Oh, my good boy. Look how big my puppies are getting. Oh, good boy. Oh, more puppies. Oh my God, more puppies. Now, this is the fifth time I've done this segment and I keep messing it up. So here goes attempt number six. Starting off with your comments. Peace of Man Map says it's going to zero. Messy Leo, two OG commenters here. Says smells like a settlement. I don't know if you're gonna get a settlement from Gary. Honestly, I think he's just gonna keep going and going. Derek Darby says, I only need a juicy wife like a latest cyclist with great legs. Come on, Klaus, sort me out. I know the Yankee girls love it, Spritz. Yes, love from across the pond. And thank you, by the way, for sharing your love from across the pond. By the way, Great Britain's got some great cycling areas. Bitcoin sitting at 27,991 EA, 1642. XRP sitting at 52.3 with XLM right now sitting at 11.1. Avalanche in the red. We're going to talk about it. Yuga Labs, more layoffs happening in crypto. The people behind Board 8 Yacht Club are like, yo, we need to resize our operation. We need to streamline it. Here's the problem with Yuga Labs, and it's coming from a quote. The problem they have is this. They have to let go some of their staff to make room for specialized staff because a lot of the stuff that's happening with Yuga Labs is outside of the norm of their core workforce. So they have to let go some of their core workforce to then be able to hire experts. This is a problem. This is definitely a problem. Avalanche, friend.tech, copycat, Stars Arena, suffers second attack in three days that's right they've made off with about three million dollars worth of avalanche there's been a major security breach with the smart contract oh that's not good three million avax swiped and hacked against avalanche based social app this is now the second hack in the last three days from stars arena a brand new action from <laughs> come on puppy you're making me do this again stop it stop puppies this is a brand new protocol based on Avalanche Social App that now has been hacked three times in two days. Stop it, bud. Get down. Here's a tweet from Galaxy. Another thing that's been hacked and compromised. Totally unrelated. Update. We've detected a security breach affecting the DNS record for Galaxy.com through our Dynadot account. Please refrain from visiting the site. Stars Arena. Major security breach. This is happening all the time. Now, the reason I brought up the whole XRP thing with automated market makers is this. Automated market makers have to be voted on. Now, Stellar, Exelon, automated market makers there. Did it help the price out at all? No, it did not. In fact, though, what we're seeing is the majority of these hacks are coming on the smart contract side of it. All right. Automated market makers did not do anything for XLM. I find it very, very improbable that automated market makers aren't going to do anything for XRP. But we know XLM is going to be launching sword bandwidth smart contracts. So are they going to be one of these listed here? Torres comes out, helps us out. Judge Torres slams the SEC in consistent theories. According to Judge Torres, the regulator argued that the distributions were indirect sales of XP to the public. The agency claimed that these transactions were conducted to create liquidity for the cryptocurrency and advance Ripple's interest. It's unclear how these legal theories, though, relate to the SEC's position that Ripple gifted XP to third parties, which the SEC did not charge in its complaint. Basically, what the judge is saying, you can't argue it both ways. Now, the judge even went one step further and was like, look, you cannot use this case as precedent unless the details line up exactly. We're going to get to more XRP action here. Don't worry. Max Kaiser slams DeFi as Thorsop suspends operations as FTX hacker starts moving money. Okay, the FTX trial is going to expose a lot of negativity regarding crypto. And that's why I brought up these stories here about Avalanche, Yuga Labs, Galaxy, all that kind of stuff. Stars Arena, right? What Max Kaiser is saying here, and I know a lot of us don't like Max Kaiser, Bitcoin Maxi. He's hard to swallow. That's what she said. Here's the problem. What he's saying is, hey, ThorSwap is like, yo, we're going to shut down everything so the hacker can't move any more funds. Kaiser is like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. ThorSwap, 
If you are decentralized, how are you really decentralized if you can shut down? A true decentralized protocol wouldn't have that ability because there wouldn't be a centralized organization running it. That's a big problem because crypto is built on trust. So if a lot of our decentralized platforms out there really aren't decentralized and they're actually centralized, controlled by an organization that can turn off the protocol, well then we're really screwed, aren't we? Then the trust of crypto and decentralization sure as shit isn't going to be there, is it? Can't stand Max Kaiser, but he's got a point. When are the automated market makers coming? Voting process started on the 7th. They need 80% of the validators to approve yes. When that happens, I'll be sure to share it with you. But when automated market makers went live for Stellar, there was a pump at the beginning, but it didn't last. Didn't last hardly at all. Price-wise of XRP, we're getting a little relief here above the 50 cent mark here over this last week. I still got puppies hanging out with me. Volume has still been nothing. Volume was nothing even from the Torres interlocutory appeal decline. So right now, if you're looking for big reasons, big moves to make XRP move, I wouldn't count automated market makers as one of them. And that's just the honest truth. I wouldn't be too optimistic about automated market makers because it really didn't do crap for Stellar's chain. Could there be some buy the rumor, sell the news action? Of course. And that would be my play for taking profits during the automated market maker vote action. Now, regarding these hacks, scams, and schemes, and puppies all over me, well, that's just every day, isn't it? That's right. Puppies every day, along with crypto hacks, scams, and schemes every day. One of the things that really bothers me is a lot of the things that we were told about crypto are proving not to be true. All this decentralization stuff, if stuff was really decentralized, ThorSwap wouldn't be able just to stop their protocol from working. So they're not really decentralized, are they? And this is all about the trust in crypto. And the trust in crypto is going to suffer heavily these next several weeks, months. Why? Because more bullshit is going to come out with FTX. You already had Gary Wang say publicly that Alameda was able to use customer funds since 2019. Think one of your biggest exchanges out there used customer funds the wrong way. Again, it's all about trusting crypto and making things go boom. What am I doing today? Today's a recovery day and it's giving two of the dogs baths today. What are your plans today? Let me know in the comments below. Recovery drink, you cool cats. Have a great rest of your day.